Good morning, fitties. How are we doing? Happy Thursday. Thank you for joining us once again. Bit of kettlebell slash dumbbell slash body weight action today. So you will need a kettlebell or various kettlebells if you've got different weights. This will work with a dumbbell as well. And there's going to be a few body weight exercises thrown into the mix. Also, completely low impact today, guys. Today is much more focused on slowing things down a little bit. There's going to be some dynamic stuff in there as well. But yeah, bit of slow work, bit of isometric stuff, aka um, static holds, just to really fire the muscles up and get them working. Um, and just trying to stimulate the body, stimulate the muscles in a different way, mix things up a little bit. Um, yesterday was kind of like MOGA, mobility and yoga with Kerry. So hopefully those of you that did that feel recovered, rejuvenated and ready to go today. Uh, but good morning, good morning. Lots of people joining us, assuming everyone can hear us loud and clear. Lovely jubbly. Um, so guys, just to recap, for those of you that are just coming on now, you will need a kettlebell or a dumbbell, and you will also need a chair as well. There's ours in the background. Um, so whether it's like a dining room table chair, or if you can use obviously your sofa or an armchair, but essentially you need something that allows you to elevate your back foot when doing everyone's favorite Bulgarian split squats because they are on the menu today. You could Tough, use books. but very, very effective, huh? You could use a few hardback books. Yeah, you could stack up a load of hardback books, anything, literally anything, your dog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if he stays still long enough, who knows? No. Hamish wouldn't have that, would he? Um, but guys, let's get into this bad boy. Um, we're gonna start off with a little bit of a warm up, a little bit of mobility. And then we're just going to gradually crank up the intensity as we go. So let's be having you. Yeah. Shift these. Right. Right, guys, a little bit of mobility work. Get yourself down onto all fours, like so. Seals. Yeah. And then from here, guys, just get some angry cats going on. Just stay nice and loose at the spine. Move in the car. Get a nice big, you're moving the carpet. Yeah. Nice big arch. We're really working through that mid back there, trying to get as much movement as possible. Don't force it though. Don't want any injuries, we're just trying to loosen you up. Stay nice and relaxed, just through really work through your range of movement. We'll do one more. Good, now knees just wider than shoulder width. Bring the toes together, left hand on the left temple, left elbow to right arm, and then rotate up. Again, not forcing it, but do try and test your range a little bit. Don't just go through the motions. Really imagine you get as much movement as you can at that mid back there. Do a couple more, guys. Cracking. Good. Change to the other side. I wasn't saying that you cracking. <laughs> Good. And to keep the knees quite wide with this, toes together, allows you to get onto the inside of the legs a little bit as well. Couple more. Good. Now, high plank position, guys. Left foot outside of the left hand or as near as Danny. Right knee to the floor. Really push the hips down and then rotate up to the ceiling. Hand down, foot back. Right foot outside of right hand. And then we do the same on the other side. And then just try and keep that going like a little bit of a flow. But again, don't just go through the motions, guys. Really work, work into the hip here. Big rotation at the mid back there. And you just find that as the reps go on, you get a little bit looser. You just get a little bit more movement. Really rotate round. Work with the range you've got. Good. 
Could be one more on each side. Good. Now back into that high plank, guys, and then from here, just push back into a downward dog. Really feed the head through the arms. Open everything up. Come back to that high plank position. From here, you're just gonna raise one leg up and back down. Raise the other leg up and back down. And then you go into the downward dog again. So just getting a little bit of a sequence going on. Raise it up, really firing up the glutes. So when you lift up here, we're just gonna do another one. Really squeeze the glutes, keep the leg nice and straight, keep the core strong. Good, so it's raise, raise, downward dog. Raise, raise, downward dog. Good, keep going with this one guys. We'll go for three more, yeah? So raise as high as you can without twisting your hips. That's one. Two. Three. Lovely. On your feet, a little shake out. I'm warm. Yeah. I actually switched the heating off this morning. Good idea, right? Good idea. Right, guys, little exercise just to fire up the, the lower body as well as the core, the obliques. It's going to be some suitcase squats. So don't go crazy heavy here. Just focus on quality repetitions and just firing things up a little bit. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your feet about hip width apart. And then from here, with the kettlebell at the side of you, doesn't matter what side you start on, you're going to be doing both. You're going to squat down, keep yourself nice and straight, take hold of your kettlebell and stand up. So when you're here, you want your core nice and strong. So I don't want the first thing that you do is lean over to the side. Imagine you've got the, an equal weight in the other side and you're coming down as straight as possible. If you can, all the way to the floor. If not, just get as low as you can. But what you're looking for, keeping the obliques fired up, the core strong, back straight, let the legs do the work and stand up. Fully extend the hips, squeeze the glutes for dear life. We're just going for 10 reps and we do the same on the other side, yeah? So get your weight up, dumbbell or kettlebell, and let's go. Down, one, keep the core strong. So don't lean into it, yeah? That's mm -hmm. five, five more guys. So you should feel your oblique working, fine to kind of keep you nice and upright there. Good, one more. Nice. Change hands. And we're gonna turn on the other side. Ready? Let's go. I don't feel okay. I hope you've got nice. Really keep the core strong, focusing on that center point, guys. Don't let the weight take you. Equally, don't overcook it <laughs> by trying to compensate and leaning too much the other way. Keep it nice and central. Four strong. I've lost count to be fair. One more. No, about three more. <laughs> Two more guys. Doesn't matter if you lose count or warm up. Good. Get right down. Awesome. So again guys, this is just to kind of wake up the midsection as well as the legs a little bit. And don't, don't go crazy heavy, but you want a heavy enough weight so that you can feel the, the obliques doing their job to keep you nice and upright throughout the whole movement. Now, ordinarily, I'd probably do like maybe two or three sets of that, but I'm conscious of time. I wanna get you guys moving and grooving as quick as possible. Right, so a little bit of a challenge just to start us off. Three minutes of work here, nothing, right? Body weight squat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sink down to about 90 degrees if we can, or as low as possible, and just sit in a squat hold. So feet just wider than shoulder width, toes angled out slightly, and we're gonna come down, try and keep that torso as upright as possible, keeping the heels on the floor, core strong, 
quad strong, hammies, glutes, all firing to keep us nice and stable here, right? You're gonna hold for 15 seconds. When I say go, you're then gonna do 15 seconds of just regular squats. So we say go, we fully extend the hips, we come back down and we go again, just working through that range of movement for 15 seconds. You then hold for 15, you go for 50. We're gonna go for three minutes. So it will get pretty tasty, but it's only three minutes, guys, yeah? What I really want you to focus on is when you're in that hold, really focus on a nice straight back. Really fire up the glutes, aka bum muscles. Look after the lower back. Just visualize all those muscles firing and doing their job. We all just want to get it over you're with. Like, whatever, man. <laughs> just get it over with. Right, so that's pretty straightforward, yeah? We hold for 15, we go for 15. We hold for 15, go for 15. Three minutes of work, guys. Let's have you. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, let's go. So squat it down, we hold. Fire everything up, just to 90 degrees. Don't go lower. If you're a bit higher, that's fine. Work within your range. Three, two, one, now we go. Try and be nice and fluid with these squats, guys. Make sure we're getting full hip and knee extension at the top. Get ready to hold in three, two, one. We hold. <laughs> Core strong, back nice and straight. Oh my gosh. Three, two, one. We go. You actually find yourself looking forward to the squat. <laughs> yeah, you do. That's it. Nice and fluid, guys. Three, two, one. Hold. Fire everything up. Quads are probably letting you know about it now. Yeah. Try not to pulse it. Keep oh. the core strong. Abs, glutes, quads, everything. Three, two, one. Let's go. <sighs> Do the best you can, guys. Five more seconds, and then we're halfway. Three, two, one, hold. So, like, you can do what I'm doing here. <laughs> Arms out in front is like a bit of a counterbalance. Yeah. Oh, hello. Five more seconds, guys. Three, two, one. <clears throat> <sighs> <sighs> do you know what? I wrote this originally, I was just gonna do two minutes. And for some reason I made it three. No, no, no. Lord knows why. Three, <laughs> two, one. One more minute, guys. Really focus. Go to your happy place. Oh yeah. <sighs> Eggs, bacon. <laughs> oh, fire it all up, guys. Come on. Oh, three, two, one. Oh. Let's go. Oh. Just remember, there's only one more lot of them. One too many. <laughs> Last one in three, two, one. Hold, fire everything up, guys. Glutes, glutes, quads, hamstrings, abs, everything nice and strong. Oh. Five seconds. Three, ah. two, one. <laughs> Last 15. Oh. Oh, 10 more seconds. Be nice and fluid. Relax as much as you can. Full hip, full knee extension. Three, two, one, boom. Nice one. Great work, guys. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Whew. My legs are awake. Yeah. I'm not going to sleep again, but <laughs> good work, guys. Nice one. Right, so I say we're plenty warm right now. Have a little drink, get some water on, and then we're going to get into the, to the main course. <laughs> that was the starter. Um, good work so far, guys. It's just gonna creep up a little bit more with each thing that we do now, but in a very different way to what we have been doing. So, lowering things down a little bit on the intensity front, much more kind of focused, controlled work. But if you were here for the last workout where we did this, and we stressed the importance of mixing it up a little bit, 
not just going like 100 mile an hour all the time, lots of jumping, lots of impact. Yeah, that's good, but we need to make sure we balance it out with some slow stuff, some controlled work, yoga mobility with Keris, more restorative. Because we need to think long term, longevity. I want to be doing this when I'm 90. Right. How are you feeling, Keris? Okay. Right, guys. So the next thing's a bit of a is an EMOM. So that's every minute on the minute. I'm going to give you two exercises and uh, a, a number of reps to do for each. Obviously, you work through those on your own time, in your own pace. Don't hang about though, because whatever's left of the minute is your rest period. Do you want some water? Yeah. I want that bell. You what? I want that bell for you to have it. What for your fussies? You yeah, yeah. No, it's ring. All right. <laughs> I'll get that on. I'm going to say. Get that on. Right guys, so the first exercise is good old swings. Wake up those hamstrings and those glutes. I think the quads are awake now with those squats, uh, squat holds, but it's just gonna liven the hammies and glutes up a little bit. So from here, get a nice solid hip hinge. Start with the kettlebell out in front of the body. Then from there, we hike back, taking the wrist to the inside of the legs. Load up hamstrings and glutes, and then power the hips through. Full knee and hip extension at the top. Squeezing those glutes for dear life. Trying to get that kettlebell to at least chest height or face height, whichever you prefer. But always keeping the wrist nice and close to the inside of the legs. It's just going to protect the lower back a lot more rather than coming too low. You're going to go for 10 repetitions there, yeah? Then, two choices on thrusters, which is a nice lower and kind of upper body combo. Mm -hmm. However, that would be the regression, yeah? Oh, okay. Um, but this is still predominantly a lower body exercise, guys, so make sure the legs are doing the work. Now, once you're in your 10 swings, option one, you get the kettlebell up into a rack position, feet in a stance ready for squats. From here, you drop down as low as you can whilst keeping the heels on the floor, and then you power up and follow that momentum you've created from the lower body and take that kettlebell overhead like Harris has done. You go for five repetitions, do a couple more. So down, big drive from the legs, follow it through, back down, and so on, yeah? You do five reps, you then change arm, you do five reps on the other side. However, if the weight you've got is just a little bit too heavy for you to do with one arm, you can just hold either the dumbbell or the kettlebell uh, with two hands in the middle, and you squat down, and the same thing, you power up, use that momentum from the lower body, and take it overhead. However, if you're doing it like this, you go for 10 repetitions, because obviously the other one is five on each side. So speed through, nice explosive set of 10 swings. Five, five on each side on the thrusters, or 10 altogether if you're just using the one weight. Whatever's left of the minute is your rest period. We're gonna go for six minutes, guys, yeah? So just six minutes of work. Don't go crazy with the weight. This is really still kind of part of the warm up. Just firing everything up, ready for what's to come next. Don't go crazy heavy, focus on quality movement, guys, yeah? So, let's do this. Six minutes, 10 swings, five on each side on the thrusters, or 10 total if you're using uh, both arms. Ready? Yep. Three, two, <laughs> y'all ready? One, let's go. Oh, <laughs> Kevin's just cutting those rattling. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. Ten seconds. No, idiot. <laughs> Five seconds, guys. We go round two. Sugar. Three, two, no one. Come on, Karis. If you can't complete the reps for the exercises in the minute, 
reduce the reps. Simple as that, guys, because you need to have some rest. yourself a good 15 seconds rest so reduce the reps if you need to or get quicker <laughs> this is horrible. three two <laughs> one i would never do this <laughs> Shut so up. thank you no but thank you because i would never do this it's not me with the abs <laughs> yeah. worst nightmare Five seconds. Three, two, I'm one. Rest. It's only six minutes. Come on, Keris. Come on, Keris. seconds rest you've got. Oh, <laughs> Three, two, one, let's go. Come on, Kevin. Why don't you even picking the bell up? <laughs> <laughs> Three, One more to go, guys. Oh man. Two. Peanut butter. <laughs> Is it peanut butter? Peanut butter. That's gonna be my breakfast. Eight seconds, guys. Last oh, one. You got this. Adapt it how you need. Oh, Three, oh. two, one. So if you stuck to the reps, bish bash bosh, you've nailed 120 reps already. 
great job. Even if you reduced it a little bit, doesn't matter. What's important is you just did it and you allowed yourself that little bit of rest. You showed up, you're here. That's the main thing, or some more. No. No. <laughs> <on> there. <laughs> no more thrusters this time. That's, okay. that's my quota. Go on. Thank God it was only six minutes, hey. This is why we be moms. You have to choose your weights wisely. Otherwise you'll just burn out. Because you know that rest period is going to be really short. And it's going to kick your ass if you don't, if you don't choose uh, the right weight. So always go a bit lighter and then you know for next time whether you go a little bit heavier or not. Still looking at what's to come. <laughs> Guys, awesome work. Have a little drink, have a little shake out. Take some uh, nice deep breaths whilst we kind of show you what's coming next. So we've done a bit of isometric stuff with the squat holds. We've done a bit of tempo work. We've got a little bit dynamic with the swings and thrusters. Now we're gonna slow things down a little bit, really focus on getting those muscles working, not relying on momentum, and feeling the burn, baby, but in a good way. Right, exercise number one. Most people's least favorite exercise but they always love it the next day because it feels so good. Bulgarian split squats. Now, Keris is gonna demonstrate, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> right guys, so, doesn't matter which leg you start with, you're gonna have to do both. But what we're gonna do is, gonna come out here. Wooden shot, lovely. Okay, so make sure you've got your chair or anything that's gonna elevate the back foot, however, if you haven't got access to something like that at the minute, it doesn't matter. We'll show you another version. So, Keris is going to take her uh, right leg back from here, keeping that weight through the heel of that front foot. Keris is going to lower the back knee towards the floor. What hand do you want the weight in? Oh yeah, so sorry. I like to hold the kettlebell or dumbbell in the opposite hand to the leg that's forward, which you guys can do as well. So keep that weight through the heel of the front foot, guys. Stay taking that back knee down as low to the floor as you can. Keep the core nice and strong. Absolutely fine to hinge over a little bit like Keris is doing. In fact, this is what I prefer. If you try to stay too upright the whole time, you get this hyperextension in the lower back. It can feel a bit uncomfortable. Tighten up the abs, lean into it a little bit. Just keep that weight through the heel on that front foot. <laughs> I had to touch that because it was working it so hard. <laughs> Even on the demo. <laughs> so the goal is to get that back knee as close to the floor as you can. You'll see here, Keris is up on the toes. That's one option. My preference is lace down. Entirely up to you. There's no right or wrong. It's purely about preference. Come me. You feel that, don't yeah. you? There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's just the demo. <laughs> right, guys. Regression. Ditch the weight. Yeah, so same movement. Go on another leg. There, and just sink straight down, and then come back up. However, Keris is showing you the speed I don't want you to do it at. Sorry. We're gonna slow it down, yeah? This is all about control. We're gonna go for time on this, but I want quality reps throughout. I'd rather you go lighter, or no weight at all, and have absolutely top dollar repetitions. You're gonna have 40, 45 seconds, you then get 15 seconds rest, however, before we go to the other leg, because the back leg's always working, so I like to break it up with an upper body exercise so that you're always fresh and able to give it your best shot. We're gonna do some paused push-ups. So what you're gonna do here, high plank, tuck the pelvis under, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Now the full version would be like so. We lower the chest down to the floor, present the chest at the bottom, we pause. Just go one, two and then we power back up yeah mm -hmm. so control it on the way down somewhat one two and power back up so you're powering up from that dead stop position yeah there's no momentum you're in control of the movement i wasn't very powerful there <laughs> oh you was give yourself some credit <laughs> regression knees on the floor same rules apply down and then power up get that solid two count when you're at the top though don't miss about so get to the top bang straight into the next one Pause, power up. 
progression further still is just reduce the range. Go with the range that you've got. So even if it's just to there, to power up, getting that isometric hold, that real kind of that dead stop position, it's going to be fantastic for improving your push up. 45 seconds there, 15 seconds rest. Then we go back to doing the other leg. 45 seconds there, 15 seconds rest. Then we're going to do <clears throat> some T rotations. So in a high plank position, take your feet a bit wider than you ordinarily would. Tuck the pelvis, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. You're now going to rotate up to one side. Try and get those arms in line with each other. And then from there, come back down and then rotate to the other side, keeping those hips nice and high, keeping the core strong, and then just find a bit of a rhythm with it. Nice bit of rotation, much as you can. Always stay nice and strong at the midsection. That's your first round, yeah? 15 seconds rest, bosh, we go back to the Bulgarian split squats on the other leg again. So of course, one round takes four minutes. We're gonna go for three, 12 minutes of work. This is all about quality repetitions. It always is, guys, but when you slow things down, you really know about it and you've really got to think about it, but that's what we want. So if you start with a weight and you need to ditch the weight or you start without and then you go up, it doesn't matter. Focus on quality repetitions, feeling it in the right places, and that's all we want. Right, guys, people are still here, lovely jubbly. Let's get into this. Have a little drink if you want to. Decide which side you're doing first. So we're not headbutting each other. Can we go that way? Yeah, okay. So we can see you. All right, all right, love. <laughs> right, guys. Put that there. 45 seconds. Top dollar reps. Whichever leg you like. Remember to hold that weight in the opposite hand to the leg that's forward. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Let's go. Exercise if you're a runner. Glutes. It definitely helps me. 20 to go. Really focus on driving through the heel of that front foot. Get that back knee as close to the floor as you can. And don't stop at the top. As soon as you're there, you go straight into that next rep. We've got six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. 15 second shake out guys. Pause push ups, eight seconds. Remember any version you like in three, two, one. Let's go, control, one, two, power up. Control, one, two, power up, as quick as you can. Twenty gone. Getting harder. Fifteen seconds, guys. Make sure it's a solid two count at the bottom. <laughs> oh, I cheat him. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Ah. Good. Nice, guys. So, other leg. Don't forget which leg you did. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's go. Quality reps, guys. Keep the core strong. Because when we've got that weight off centre. Quality reps. <sighs> 20 gone, guys. Don't worry about counting reps. Just focus on keeping moving. Getting a nice big range of movement. Feeling it in all the right places. 15 to go. Gonna feel this tomorrow. Five seconds, guys. Three, two, one. 
I intentionally slowed that down so I'm gonna have to do another rep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Eight seconds, guys. T rotations. Make the most of this, it's probably gonna be the nicest one. Three, <laughs> two, one. Let's go. Rotate. Guys, if you want to regress this, you can just kind of do just a little tap of the hips here. Keep the core strong, tap the pelvis, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. Not really, just in case if you're holding on one arm here. See what I mean? Yeah. In that position. I like that one. I do that one. 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one, good. Ah, oh, round one done. Here we go. I'm gonna go heavy on the split squat. Good on ya. So it gets a bit spicy now. Five seconds, guys. Three, two, one, let's go. Oh. To the wall. <laughs> 20 seconds gone. I thought you were doing a tie shoelace job. <laughs> I just got 10 eyes. Tempting. 20 <laughs> seconds to go, guys. Oh, oh. God, this feels completely different. This set. <laughs> Keep that back nice and strong, guys. Don't hinge over too much. Oh. Let the legs do the work. Come on, guys. Five. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh, oh man. <sighs> pause push ups, guys. Remember any version you like, but make it count at the bottom. Two seconds solid pause. Three, two, one. <sighs> Ten. Oh, sorry. Fifteen gone now. Control down, pause. Tug the pelvis, crunch the abs, squeeze the glutes. 20 to go. Last 10. Last five, guys. Three, two, one, good. Oh. Other leg. Three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, guys, sorry. By the way, the other regression was. Just doing regular split. lunges mm. or split squats. <laughs> Apologies, I was meant to mention that earlier. 20 to go. Oh, 10 seconds. Focus on quality reps, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, quarter blind, mate. <sighs> Gosh, I've got a lot of Christmas safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, two rotations, guys. Three, two, one. Yeah. Let's go. Keep these controlled. But not so much to where you're just creating loads of tension because it will just back you out. Nice big rotation, 20 gone. Fifteen to go guys, and then it's the third and final round. Last five. Three, two, one. Oh, 
Nice. Ah, oh, good work. Ah, oh, I am. <laughs> Last round. Last round, guys. We got it. Shaman. I'm starting to like these now. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last set. Quality reps. Keep the core strong. Keep the weight through the heel of that front foot. Get that back knee as close to the floor as you possibly can. When you're at the top, don't stay there too long. Get, get straight into that next rep. Ah. 10 more seconds, guys. Come on, guys. Keep moving. Remember, even if you're doing no weight at all, just your body weight. Five, three, two, one. Oh, my glutes. I love it. <laughs> Pause push ups, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Keep moving guys, regress it however you need to, but remember always getting that pause. Work with the range you've got, but always get that pause. 20 to go. Last 10. Lot of these bad boys. Hallelujah. <laughs> Nearly there, guys. Come on. In three, two, one. Let's go. <laughs> it's the last lot of these guys. Last set mentality. It burns, but you can work through it. Keep the core strong. Keep the weight through the heel of the front foot. Get that back knee as close to the floor as you can. Try and touch the floor, Karis. What, your knee? Yep. Oh no. <laughs> That's a challenge. That's oh. <laughs> put Mel down. <laughs> 10 more seconds, guys. Yeah. Oh. Sugar. Gloss fire. Three. One more for luck. Two. One. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Nice. Here we go guys, last set of two rotations. Three, two, one. Let's go. Or do what Keris is doing. I find this harder. Do you? Yeah. Fifteen gone. <laughs> cool. Cool, Blimey. Yeah, cool. Keris, cool, Marston. Come on, guys, last time coming up. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mm. Ah. Wow. Ta ah. Well done, guys. Nice work. Twelve minutes of graph there. So of course, assuming you were going heavy enough, <laughs> that was hard work, right? But a different kind of hard work. So when we do the more higher intensity, more dynamic stuff, it's just a nice combination to make sure you're getting the best of both in your training plan. Ooh. Let my heart rate down, come a little, let my heart rate come down a little bit. I couldn't even speak then. I'm looking at what's next again. Right, well done guys, you're still with us, awesome. <laughs> so this is 
Not sure if it was a good idea to watch the video. I was having a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read the rest of the comment. Right guys, have a little drink, have a little shake out. Good news is, your legs get a bit of a rest now. Much more upper body, ugh, focus. Bit of me, it's a bit of me. <laughs> um, you might still need your chair for this, but I'll show you a version without. What do I do? Are you, yeah. you gonna do this? Yeah. Cool. Right guys, so the first one is gonna be a single arm row. However, you're gonna use the chair for support. Press up position. No, no. Oh. Shall I do on this one? Yeah, go on. Good. This is all a surprise to Gary, she doesn't know what we're doing. <laughs> but she's using the chair for support, but you're going to bend the legs so that you're back. Sweat patch, I, know. Like, I don't look like I feed myself. It's got an obscene shape. Grey, grey is not the colour to wear when exercising. So. <laughs> it goes out to the side. Oh, well, I can't even show everybody, but it's basically. That's why, I, at least, I don't wear these to the gym. These are just for home workouts. Right, guys, so back nice and strong. Support your upper body with your other hand, but your legs back so that they, they're out of your way. Then from here, you're gonna row up, oh, down. So putting up and back towards the hip, elbow nice and close to the body. You don't wanna be bunching that shoulder up, yeah? Putting up and back, all the way down, fully extend the arm and back. You can do this for 25 seconds. You've then got five seconds. So <sighs> a quick breather, switch. And we go again on the other side. Keep that back straight. What I don't want to see is lots of twisting. Keep it strong here and then row up. 25 seconds, five seconds rest. 25 seconds, five seconds rest. Then we're going to go for a push press. Now I'll give you a couple of options here because you might find that your, the weight you've got is too light or it might be too heavy, all right? If it's just right, which is what I'm hoping it is, what you're gonna do here is get a little drop of the legs and then from there, use that momentum, that little short, sharp burst of power you've got to take the arm overhead. So just a little bit, push it through. Come down, push it through. If you get a rhythm, yeah? If you see it's just a very, very shallow dip, of the knees, it's not a lot. It's not like the thrusters you were doing at the beginning. Short and sharp, yeah? 25 seconds, five seconds to change, 25 seconds on the other side. If, however, your weights are too light, you can just stick to a strict press, but just find a rhythm, come all the way down into that back position, or dumbbell just holding at the front of the shoulder, push up, fully extend the elbow, come back down. Fully extend all the way down and just keep repping out for the 25 seconds. If your kettlebell is too heavy to get overhead full stop, what I will get you to do is I'm just going to get you to hold in rack position. Keep the core nice and strong. So use both arms up if you need to, get it up, core strong, tuck the pelvis, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, hold. Loads and loads of tension. Extend the knees, extend the hips, squeeze everything, even though you're not moving. And then switch sides, obviously. Same on the other side. Now, this is where this gets a bit juicy, because it's only 25 seconds of work, but it's only five seconds of rest. It's gonna take two minutes to get through the one round. We're gonna go for three rounds back to back. Yeah, so as soon as you finish that last set of push press, you've got five seconds to go straight into your rows again. And we're gonna go again two more times, six minutes of work. Wow. Might do a bonus set if you're up for it. No. Nope, we'll see how we get on. Nope. <laughs> right, guys, get yourselves in position. You ready? So you might need to. Uh, that's, that's it. We're using the 12. 16 on really? the Whoa. <sighs> right, guys. I've done that uh, with the chair uh, Maybe you go back a bit. Just. Okay. That's it. Cool. Right guys, hand on the bell, ready to go. Doesn't matter which arm you start with really, not in this instance. Three, make sure your legs are out of your way. Two, one, let's go. Keep the back nice and straight. Focus on quality reps guys. 
pulling up and back towards the hip, elbow nice and close to the body, back nice and straight, trying to min minimize any twisting. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, five seconds to change. Three, two, one, let's go. Big full range movement, guys. Fully extend the elbow at the bottom. Pull up and back towards the hip. Squeeze up as high as you can. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Oh, into our push press. Three, two, one. Let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Trying to give up with you. <laughs> no! You cannot fit me. Ten more seconds. Oh my god. You beat me. Three, two, one. Well, I'm done. We're straight in. Three, two, one. Let's go. If you're not using a chair, guys, just use your arm like we've done in the past. Yeah? But I like this, so kind of just keeping your back nice and straight. Three, two, one, good. Three, two, one, let's go. Quality reps, guys. Find a rhythm, not too slow, not too fast. Keep moving. As soon as you're fully extended, up we go. As soon as you're at the top, back down. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, good. Oh. Push press, three, oh. two, one. To the world of my own then. <laughs> Remember, short and sharp. Straight to press. Ah. If it's too light, hold that rack position. If it's just way too heavy. Five seconds. And break. Switch, switch. Let's go. Short and sharp. Deep in the legs. Last five. Fully extend at the top. Break. Oh, last round, guys. Three, two, one. Let's go. Back nice and straight. Control your breathing. Oh. Ten more seconds. If it's really light, speed up the reps. And. Break. Switch on. Three, two, one. Let's go. Last ten seconds, guys. Big full range of movement. Five seconds. We squeeze the lats. Three, two, one. Oh, here we go. Last set on each arm. Three, two, one. Mm -hmm. 
short and sharp dip. Fully extend the elbow at the top. Really power that arm up. 10 more seconds. Home straight. Five. Uh. And break, then switch. Last set, three, two, one. over <laughs> guys high five insta high five facebook well done <laughs> yeah. uh, guys amazing work thank you guys bit different today mixed it up lovely jubbly it was tough but i really enjoyed it hope you guys did too <sighs> hope you was able to adapt the exercises with what you've got um let me know if not and I can always offer some feedback or some ideas of how to uh, adapt. It's all about using what you've got right now. We're quite lucky, we work in the industry, so we've got loads of kettlebells and stuff like that. But I know not everybody has, so do let us know. Mwah. Big love to you all, guys. Don't forget, Fit365, full access, 30 day free trial right now. No obligation to stick around whatsoever. Lots of awesome content in there. More workouts like this and other helpful resources, I can't even speak. <laughs> uh, and like I say, completely free for 30 days. Check it out. We'd absolutely love to have you. Big love guys, and we'll see you at the next one. Bye. Bye.